Good afternoon, YouTube. So here's another one uh, from a viewer. Uh, left me a, a comment on one of my previous videos. Uh, and they asked me, uh, Charlie, can you explain uh, in a little bit more detail the hows and the whys of opening up to work for the Spirit World? So in this video, that's what we'll be covering. So what is open up? Open up is, uh, uh, the old school term is to sit in your power. So I need to sit and I need to circulate, find a rhythmic pattern to my breath, get my body, and really what it is is getting the mind in gear uh, into an altered state of, uh, of awareness to then open up that space for the spirit world to uh, impregnate the idea for my mind, for me to express. And so that is the term of opening up. Do we need to sit an hour before, sit in the power, sit in the, uh, in the quiet state or the meditative state, whatever term you want? Is it required? Absolutely not. What it does, and again, what I'm fearful of with these videos is that I remove some of the magic. And so that is some of the best time that I've had building my relationship with my my spirit team was in the early stages. It was taking uh, time out in the day to sit and 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 feel my team and feel the, the the spirit world, altering the state there for them to work. And and through that development, you you learn to get there quicker. It's just a change of gear. It's just a mindset change. And so what we're trying to do is just allow enough room in that mind for the spirit world to uh, uh, spark. The idea or the thought that we have so it, uh, as I move my mind there it's I'm aware of dad and so that's how it happens that's how it comes in and so what we need to do uh, uh, to open as as the as it's uh, termed it is if you require that 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 time like I need to get my mind out of the way you may have had a hectic day you may have uh, had a, an argument which kind of don't sit right, makes you feel a little bit angst, doesn't it? So what we need to do is we need to open that space in our mind for the, the spirit world to work. And this is the term, this is why and how we open our mind. Is it required? Absolutely not. The more and more you develop it, the better and quicker that altered state can become present. So like driving a car, you know, when you first get in there, like 20 miles an hour, um, it feels really fast and oh, I don't know if I'm going to do this. Two years down the line, you're, you're comfortable, you're driving one hand and you're changing the CD. You may be texting or phoning, you shouldn't be, but you know, they do that out there, don't they? And so very, very easily, they're not thinking about how to drive the car, they're just driving the car. It's just how it works. And, and this is no different. You know, I train, so I see it and I get the rhythm of my natural breath and the intent to work or the intent to go to the spirit world or the intent to sit with my team. And with that, my state alters. So it's the altered state. And then through that altered state, I've learned how to get there. I know what it feels like. I know when they're there. So now I don't need to do that before a demonstration. I don't need to sit for half an hour. I don't need to sort of find my rhythm. I know where it is in my mind. I know what it feels like. I know that mark because I do it. The same way I know how to get in the car. Press start put it in gear, reverse the car. I'm not thinking of all these processes, I just do the process. And mediumship is exactly the same. So why do we do it? We have to do it, we have to open. And I don't like the term, so it's just shifting the mind. It's the intent to work. I'm here right now to work as a channel for the spirit world. And what that means is that my mind is here, you can use my mind and said loved one is in front of me or audience is in front of me and through this process uh, I will do my my mediumship the moment I stop so the close aspect is I remove my mind from the spirit world so there's no space there for them to work because I now need to eat I need to drive home it may be two hours to get home and tomorrow I've got to sort this out and I'm doing that and and so that space is occupied again there's no room there for the spirit world. So the intent is not there to work because I'm caught up in my everyday. I'm caught up with what I'm doing in my everyday life. You know, we've all got the stresses and the worries of our of our reality. And so through that reality, there is no space there. 
However, now I want to work again. And so my intent goes, right, that can wait. I can sort that out tomorrow. I can sort that out next week. I'll phone them and I'll do that. And through that process, I can then take my breath. I alter my state. I open. And now I'm back in the position to work as the medium again. What I see is a massive emphasis on this. Like you have to sit down and you have to, you have to listen to music or you have to find the rhythm and you have to, have to, have to. When you don't have to, these are rituals, the rituals that are full in your own mind. And what we're trying to do is take your attention away from your reality. And that is why you would have to do it. So if you're very new to it, then of course it's going to benefit you in some way to take 10 minutes out, to take 30 minutes out, find that quiet place, find that rhythm. But then what you do is that you, you get used to that after so long. Uh, and that may be three months, six months, a year down the line where you go, do you know what? I feel like we're wasting half hour before class or I feel like we're wasting half hour this week. Um, because I, because I know where I'm going, so I'm just going to go there. And it's as quick as that. The intent moves, and as it moves, I'm open. I'm ready to work. Because I'm ready. I've trained to be ready. If you're very new, then of course you need to learn where that mark is. There, there it is, there it is, and now I'm okay again. A and then you can uh, get that process underway and work much quicker. What I see is a lot of old school teachings, ones that are, you know, their teacher told them you've got to sit for 30 minutes every week before circle. And now that student is now a teacher of 20 years and they've been teaching it for 20 years, so on and so forth. And then we have this problem where you need to do this. You need to close properly. You need to open properly. You need to actually, it's the mind. It's the gearing of the mind. It's the altered state. Now, there will be a few people, if you, uh, a few people here that will disagree with that. That's absolutely fine to disagree with that. However, I do uh, uh, work quite a lot now with the uh, the science community. A lot of you would have seen uh, videos on here from King's College or the universities uh, that I help with uh, uh, understanding the mind and neuro pathways. Uh, and this alpha, beta, theta, delta state is scientific you you know you can google it you can you can get loads and loads of research on it they're altered states of the mind and that is simply what you're doing when you're opening up you are altering the state of your mind for a place for the spirit world to work so if i have a cup or a can let's say, let, let me grab a can if i have a can and that holds 330 mil let's say 33 centiliters and that's nearly what the mind runs at. It's like 27 to 35. Um, and, and so I need to alter that state. I just drink some of the can. I just drink some of it. Let's say I drink half of it. So it's down to about, I don't know, 14, 15, 13, 14, 15, round about that area. 13 is kind of mediumship territory. Right down to about seven. So uh, I leave seven in there. That's a heavily altered state. That's, that's the point of entrancement or... Um, and then beyond that sleep so it's really simple it's really easy to understand if I open up enough space there there's more room for them to work if I fill that can up and I want to add something to it there's not much room to add to it that's exactly what you're doing with your mind it's the open aspect alter the state the spirit world can get in you leave a canvas there for them to work with so on and so forth so I hope I've answered the viewers question in a little bit more detail uh, if you need more on it feel free to drop it in the comment box. Drop a comment anyway, it helps the channel. Like if you found it useful, subscribe of course to be notified so you're gonna have to click that bell. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.